93. I have no idea how we died to that, but either way, that was done on July 27th, 2018. That was a long time ago. So we are redoing one boat after all this time. It's been almost two years since the original one boat run, and I died on 93 because I didn't have enough money. But hopefully this time we don't need to sell as much, because two things. Pyro Lord got buffed, at least the main the main tower, and uh, Flagship. He's a bit stronger now, thanks to the fighter planes. Hey guys, is it ever worth it to go for a merchantman? Is it ever worth it to make money in the early game? Because I mean, it will be efficient. Even if we sell the merchantman, we get lots of cash money. We'll make back the, the, the amount we lose from selling. Maybe even a flavor trades. Because that gives your boat double attack speed. I mean, I guess it's worth a shot. I mean, this is logs. We should be fine. I bet a 020 boat could solo 20 plus rounds here. I'm gonna extract every ounce of cash as, as I can from the early game. Because that's the way greed goes. Because if money was an issue in the original run, I bet you money might be an issue in this run. Although I also want to bet that we're dead on 95, so this is this is not going to be much of an improvement. Anyways, this is really early. Flavor trades on round 23. Poggers. You think flavor trades can beat the Moab? Hold on. You're getting a little ahead there. We're not even to the 30s, and you're telling me how to beat 40. Well, you can beat 40 with uh, this this boat. How is this 024 so good? I mean, I guess the attack speed. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> right. Double attack speed on the flavor trades might come in handy, like legit. Hey guys, ever want to go trade Empire? Nah, just kidding. I'll stop. I don't think this is worth it, because this does not buff your boat anymore. Or does it? No, it does. It does. It gives your merchantman plus one damage and pierce, something like that. So maybe we could go for this absolutely broken Zoo Two Five. I've always loved merchantmen because they give you money and defense at the same time. I like a tower that does double duty. Am I sure Trade Empire buffs itself? I don't know. I don't know, but I hope so. I mean, I'm sure NK wouldn't make the same mistake, right? Like when they did when the game came out and subs were like that. Any OGs remember the sub commander being absolute garbage? Because one, it did buff itself, and two, the buff was very minimal. Like man, that sub commander was so bad when the game came out. Now it's one of the best towers. Just goes to show you how much uh, 30 buffs in 15 patches can make. But yeah, this is so we can afford a Trade Empire. I will buy this only if this guy gets more damage, because then I can save. I can like you know ride this guy for longer, ride him real good. Uh, can anybody tell if that's more damage? I can't see. I want to say no. That doesn't seem very strong at all. Yes or no? So do I take it? Fine, fine, fine. 820. Wait, that wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it, guys. Why did I buy that? Guys, a Flavor Trades makes you 500. 520 with knowledge. Trade Empire gives you 300 more per round. And that's not good because you only have one boat. Man, I just got baited. I just got baited into buying this upgrade so hard. 820 Omega LOL. You gotta be kidding me. Someone do the math on how long it takes to pay off. Because this costs 20k. With knowledge, it sells for 75%. So you lose 5,000. And I only gain 300 in, in return. So I need to survive with this guy for 16 rounds. 17. To make my money back, alright? So if this boat only doesn't make it to 57 on its own, then we lost money. Unfortunate, man. Anyways, ceramics, we just struggle in. I, I don't know. Do I really take this? 130. I mean, I guess I'll also buy a Grove Locker so that I don't die to this Rico farm. But yeah, that wasn't very good, but okay. I don't think we'll need those lives, though. You're making $800 around that I wouldn't make if I got rid of the Zoo 24. Yes, that is correct. I forgot to take it into account when I did the math, so. Actually, this is the right move, Zoo 25. Because I bet Zoo 24 would have died on like 40, maybe 45. So I, I would have missed 8 rounds of 820 cash, which is like 4.8k, which is, yeah. That's worth it then, okay. Thank you for making me not cry then, for making a mistake. Based on post-purchase uh, post evaluation, we do end up coming out in the end. 
Any lives lost? Yeah. 96? Pretty sure this round is death. Well, let me just see. Uh, somehow still alive. That's weird. Now we're dead. I hope it doesn't matter, at least. So, 520. Lego. So, 89. This round, Cure Affliction I've had problems with two years ago. Now, let's see. So far, so good, it seems. Does anyone know how much damage the missiles do? Because I'm sure they're going to add up over time. Also, they target strong, right? They're like the exact same as fighter planes, I assume. Exact same, but tinier. That's a lot of fighter planes. Now it's round 90. How are we to DTs? So fighter plane missiles do not damage DTs, apparently. Doesn't matter though. The dart 2. That was pretty easy. How bad is my ex eczema exactly? Um, Let's just say really, 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 really bad. Like, I wouldn't say the worst of all time, but definitely up there a few months ago. Right now, it's probably still kind of up there, but not like... I would say severe right now, but not super severe like it was a few months ago. Like, think about not being able to sit down, unless you want your, your butt to stick to the seat. Not being able to sleep because you're itching and... Again, your body sticks to uh, any surface it touches. That's how bad it can get, which is what I'm worried. I don't want to get to, again. At the moment, it's not like that, but I'm getting glimpses of it. Slight traces. But again, the biggest issue I mentioned earlier, I mentioned a few times, was not necessarily in the middle of the day, which is, I guess, manageable at this point. But it's like, the sides. Like, uh, waking up in the morning, waking up to like a mess in the morning, that's... Something I just want to, like, you know, not want to experience anymore. But of course, I would love to be able to not have to struggle in the middle of the day as well, like I did before. That's why I wasn't able to stream for like a month, a few months ago. I don't want to go back to that point. It's like, if it stays where it is right now, like, shit, it's gonna suck. I'll hate myself, but I'll still be able to make content, you know? So that's one, that's at least a positive. Looks like a Cure Inflation can slow 92, that is nuts. No need to sell. In the end, we're all rooting. Yeah, I mean, I'm rooting for myself too. I don't want. I don't want to deal with this. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to. I'm just hoping the trauma medicine again doesn't fully lose effectiveness. I hope it does still have some impact. So 93. Don't need to sell. This is actually pretty insane. We're, we're looking really good up to 95. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do for 95, but if I do have to do power load micro. Constantly, well, so be it. So be it. GG, that was so easy. Did not need a self Power Lord yet. But yeah, you don't realize how bad it can get until you actually experience that point. Because, like, I thought um, when it got really bad one year ago today, like, at this point one year ago, it was starting to get bad again. And a few weeks after, a year ago, uh, yeah, that's when shit really hit the fan and I went to the ER. Because, you know... I just couldn't deal with it. At that point, it was already pretty bad, because, like, it was... It was, like, that wetness feeling where, you know, making contact would create tons of uncomfortable moisture, all that. But I didn't know it would get even worse. By the way, going to the doctor for eczema is completely useless, because doctors have no idea what to do. And they won't give you anything of use, aside from whatever a normal doctor would give you. So, yeah. Hospital will be the last thing I go to next time. Next time it gets bad again. Anyways. 94, easy. Alright, time to prepare the micro challenge fingers. I think the round is doable. As long as you do enough pirate load hook-ins. So, let's get ready. Well, let's begin. Go, go, go. Don't tell me I'm dying to purples. Don't tell me. We're actually doing fine. Pirate load hooking three at a time is really pog. Really pog champ. Now, let's keep it up. Should I do it from the mobs too? Because I don't think a flake shit will beat all this, right? Do I need to do this? Oh, fuck it. Let me just try. The micro is really easy. So if it fails here, I can restart. No biggie. But if I beat this, then, then great. That's beautiful. I don't think so, though. Wait. We're so close. Kind of close. 
kind of. Let me self reflect ship earlier. Alright. Oh. Go, 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 go. Alright. That is three full lanes, and then some. Let's hope we can beat the DT here. Just one DT. Come on. Is one DT that big a problem? We're looking good. Why are the planes so far away from the ex Okay, there they are. They're in a good spot. And now they're not. Now, one thing I kind of question there. Did the one DT being out of place, like, destroy me? Or did it not make a difference? Because I don't know if it would be better to hook in one more time. Can we do it faster? That's the question. Here we go. Oh wait, whoa, 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 I did not need the extra boat there. I didn't know I killed it all that fast. Well, we got three and then the extra loop. So this is like the best run so far. But I can do a little bit better. A little bit. Come on, planes. Why are you all together? What are you doing? Prove that you're straight by not being together. So far... So close. It's so close. Should we do 9 hooks? Okay, we'll do 9 hooks. 9. 1. How's this, guys? We left 2 DDs up. 2 DDTs. We're kind of staring at the pops, that's good. Although now it's all gonna pop at the same time. You know what happens. D did we make it? Gasp. We did it. With 72k to spare. Now that's what you call epic game removes. 97, easy. Alright, 98, what do we do? Do we start power loading or do we wait? The issue is that if we wait to power load later, then yeah, we're gonna die to SRAMs. Honestly, I'm able to sell like in the middle of it, but that's kind of hard. So let me just watch. We are dead at this point. Wait, not yet, not yet. Now? Now we're dead. Okay. Let's do a few Pyro Lords. How many though? How many? One hook. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I hate that the menu goes from left to right. Because I messed up. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's eight. Should we do one more? One more will reduce the amount of BFPs by 3, which is pretty good. But oh well. We'll do that if we don't get this time. So 9 hookins. It could be down to RNG as well, yeah. I understand that. This run seems pretty solid. Pretty solid except for the last bend. All those mobs at once. Same old song and dance. Alright, we'll do 9. 8. 9. Alright. There we go. How about now? This run's gotta be it, man. Yeah, we got this. Nice. Now, I'm gonna sell. Wait. I need three hook-ins. One. Two. Oh, wait, it took me another Moab. No, 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 no. What do I do this round? No, it took me into the back two. Let's go back. Oh no, I messed up. I need three DTs on the first hook-in. Or one of the hook-ins. Oh, this is pretty good. We got a chance. We got a chance. Don't choke against the flagship. Ceram's here. Good. Got it? $1,000. Ooh. That was so tight. We ran 100. Alright, let's see how much damage the flagship does here. Like the fighter planes. Doesn't seem to be good enough to beat a bad. I don't know. We'll see. 20%, uh, 20%, 40. We'll pop it, we'll pop it. But I'm pretty sure we're dead to DTs if we don't have money. So, uh, please pop, it's so close. Nice. Two zoom Gs. I think we'll make it, yeah, not fortifieds. I'm not too worried about this. In before we die, because planes RNG. Just kidding, wow, we lost six lives. Well then, welcome aboard flagship to the uh, round 100 plus club in the one tower challenge. 
pretty impressive. With that being said, uh, the free play is RNG. So whether or not I beat this round is all down to if there are DDTs. There's one DDT. There's two. And that's likely gonna spell death. I got no money. No money, no family. No food, no nothing. And I don't believe there's a reason to optimize early rounds, because, like, if I am gonna beat this round, I'm probably gonna need the power load, like, 20 times. 20. I think we're gonna... Call quits there. Round 101. Where all one tower challenges go to die.